Like every photography YouTube channel, it's about time I show off my unhealthy addiction. And that addiction is to collecting film cameras. I've been taking film photography seriously for about two years now and I've amassed an impressive collection. So I'm going to break this video into two parts, the first part being the cameras I actively use frequently and the other half being shelf clutter, the stuff that just clutters my shelves and leaves me no space in my room. Starting off is my favourite camera, the Yashica 24. This is probably the most expensive camera I've bought. It was £210. I got it off eBay with two different lenses and it's got to be my favourite camera. Uh, it's probably the thing I've used the most. I just love a TLR, you know, it inspires me to shoot. Favourite camera, so much to love about it. Next up in terms of 35mm bodies is the Pratica BC1. This isn't a special camera or anything but I just love it. I got it for about £10 at a charity shop and I've fell in love with it since for the amazing shutter it has. I just love the sound of it. I've got to say it's one of my favourite cameras to use if I'm shooting a 35mm. A close second in 35mm bodies is the Pentax ME. The main thing that lets this count down and why I don't really use it is the shutter controls. I just don't think they're very good for how I shoot photography. But there's nothing wrong with this camera. I would recommend this 21. I love it. And the final camera I've frequently been using is the Olympus AF1 Super. I made a video on this the other week. It's a great point and shoot. You can't really go wrong with it. You just gotta love it for it. So those are the cameras I use mainly. Uh, now here's the rest of them. <laughs> I'll start off with this one. This is a Zeiss Natar. A new camera I very recently got. It's actually a fold camera. Really cool. I do actually want to start using this a lot but I've only just got it so that's why it's in the, uh, in the shelf clutter pile. I haven't tested it yet but I'm pretty sure it works and it's just an actual really pretty camera. To juxtapose a really cool camera that I want to start using is this piece of shit. This is the Holger 120. For those of you who don't know what the Holger is, it's this really shit plastic body camera which is notoriously bad. I mainly got one for the jokes of it, but I do want to make a full video on this just testing out about how bad it actually really is. Kind of in the same lane as the Holger is this Ilford Sporty. Obviously this is a metal bodied camera, it's just kind of the same low fixed lens, you can't really do much with it, but I'm sure it will work better than the Holger. <laughs> this is a bit of a weird new one I've kind of got. Dredston A1. Looking at images on it online, it normally has a box attached to the back which you can put wet plates in to do wet plate photography. So I don't really know what I'm going to do with this camera yet, but I am interested in using it. I'm surprised it actually functions because I've had other cameras like this kind of a folding style and so many of them have issues. But this one actually seems to work, which is quite amazing. This is what it looks like folded, which is actually insane. You could put this in your pocket and when you want to open it, just click this button and you pull it out. Beautiful. I guess next up I kind of have to mention my brownie collection. This was my first ever brownie I got. Lovely thing, I later upgraded to this beautiful thing when I saw it in the charity shop. But it's just really nice to use. And then I got this one recently, which is kind of an older model. As you can see, it's a bit bigger and it doesn't really have, have a stylized design like the others. But I'm kind of interested in using it because of just how ugly it is. I think some stuff portraits on this would be really cool. I talked about the Olympus AF1 super earlier, but these two are some other point and shoes I recently got. Both of them surprisingly work. Both of them are the zoom lens ones, which are quite nice. Considering they look so different uh, in size, they're pretty much identical. Kind of keeping a theme with point and shoots is this Kodak Ectralight. This is a 110 cartridge camera. I've never shot on a 110 format, so I'm really interested in actually shooting this. It's just a cute little tiny camera. I'm wondering what kind of images that I could get from this. I think it'd be kind of cool. Keeping in line with just kind of cool gimmicky cameras, this is an instant camera, uh, the Instax Mini 9. I'm not the biggest fan of instant from photography. I feel like the images always are a bit hazy. They're not perfect, but at the end of the day, it's just so convenient. So many people have these, this is so trendy. Right, we've got to tackle the 35mm cameras now. For someone who doesn't shoot much 35mm, I have a shit ton of cameras. I'll start off with this one. This is the Halina X35. This thing is tiny and it is a 35mm camera. Uh, I've only ever used this once. It is a pain to use, it's really stiff. I would not recommend it. You have to clock it every time you shoot it so you'll get lots of missed frames because you didn't clock it. But it's just so cute and heavy. I just I just love it. It's so cute and small. Like I said, I've only ever used it once and the images were all right. This is uh, one of my actual first film cameras I got really early on. Uh, the Canon Rebel 2000. So this is the only like plastic bodied 
film camera I own and I mainly own this because it works with the cameras I use to film these videos as well. The main issue when it comes to this camera is it takes a very niche battery and I don't really want to spend £10 on batteries for a camera that I rarely use. This was a recent pickup, the Patricia L. I, I can't say much about it because like I said it's a recent pickup. It's an M42 screw mount lens camera and it has a wonderful shutter. Oh, I love that. This thing is so boxy, I just kind of love the design. I have this weird obsession with cameras that are like kind of bad and ugly looking. I just think, oh, this is what I want to shoot. Keeping in line with boxy cameras that take M42 screw mount lenses is my Zenit collection. This is the Zenit E. I haven't used this one just yet. And this is my favourite one, the Zenit TTL. That's this is my third favourite 35mm camera. It's got a lovely little shutter dial. I have used this a handful of times and I do intend to start using it more as a main camera so hopefully if I ever make an update to this video you'll see this in not the shelf clutter pile but the actual use pile. I didn't realise that was all of them. I guess I'll wrap it up with one final camera. This is one of the three digital cameras I own. This is the Kodak Easy Share. I only picked this up the other week and I absolutely love it. This one works a charm. It's a bit stiff but it's beautiful. I'll take a selfie. <laughs> uh, I'll put that on the screen now. Well that wraps up all the cameras I have for me at uni. Uh, I have more at home, which is probably the worst part about all of this. If you like this different kind of longer video, be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching and I'm out.